As we gear for our Princeps Modern Indian Art Auction, we're thrilled to have Mr. Najib Raiba, the younger son of uh, the illustrious artist uh, A.A. Raiba with us here at the Princeps office. And uh, thank you for taking the time out and agreeing to have this uh, small conversation okay. um, with us. And if you can tell us a little bit about uh, growing up with such a prolific artist and what your personal experience was and about a little bit about your childhood as well. My father was a uh, Indian master artist, as you said, and uh, he started his career from very young age. When he was hardly five years old, and in those days he used to uh, stay at uh, Andhiri. Okay. And um, uh, there was a very uh, interesting incident about his childhood. And uh, in those days there was a uh, municipal school there in Andhiri. And that school was Gujarati medium school. Right. <laughs> so initially, Gujarati was not the mother tongue. Okay. So he, uh, in spite of all difficulties, my grandmother sent my father to that school. Constantly, the school changed to Urdu medium school. Oh, wow, that's and that was in uh, during the British uh, era. And uh, the teacher told all the student ki, uh, you draw, draw an apple my father was hardly 5 years old and every student drew the apple on the paper when the teacher saw my father uh, drawing the apple when he coloured it and when he saw that drawing he was amazed he, told, he, he, just, he, was, uh, 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 he was not uh, um, surprise, how is it possible a small child of 45 years do the apple with all the colors and all the shadings? It's not possible. It's not possible to do an apple of 5 years child. So he told my father, ke, who had drawn this? Actually, he had given the homework. Ke, um, so he thought the parent was the parent had done, 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 done it. So my father was very small, he cried. He said, no. Feature, I have done myself. How is it possible to so much of the hard eyes to get draw apple so beautifully with all the shadings and all the colors? It's not possible. So, my father told me, Don't believe now, I did not tell you lies. I can do the same pulp just now before you. And he drew the apple. The teacher was so surprised that he, at that time, the teacher recognized that talent he had got. Wow. The talent of drawing. Right. So that was in his blood from very early childhood. Yeah, it was the raw talent that ha, he already ha. had. And then the journey started of his history career as an artist. So he was very uh, fascinated by art. Yeah. He told my grandmother that I want to become an artist. Hmm. I don't want to do any other work. And he later he joined the school of art where he was the uh, he, he got a fellowship there in Jesus Park. And he was a master in every medium. He used to draw on paper, he used to draw on canvases. Later on, he uh, adopted the technique of jute right. uh, painting. Yes. Jute. And it was a very few people, fair, very few artists used to take that medium of jute. Right. And he was the first who uh, wholeheartedly accepted the medium of jute. Right. And he had the uh, show of old Bombay. That was covered entirely in jute. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Uh, and that was a very uh, uh, astonishing success for him. And the show was held simultaneously at Jhangir Gallery, Taj Gallery, and Pandura Gallery. That was in 1978 79. But how was your sort of um, experience growing up with this um, sort of since, father? Since I was yeah, the youngest in our family, and I was attached to my father and my parents. and. When we shifted to Virat in the 1980s, mm -hmm. when I was very small, I was in Harvey College Center, I was there. So he used to take me after the school. Right. Friday, so Saturday, Sunday was the holiday. So Friday, I Then I expect to be with him. And Sunday, we have to come back. So I had a lot of memories of him. And I uh, am presently writing a book on my father, Unfinished Journey of Life, A. Ramon. Wow. His entire biography from a childhood till yeah. is there. 
That's really interesting. I guess also he must have had so many interactions with other artists who were part of his. Uh, he was a part of uh, he was a part of progressive exactly. group, and uh, many artists of progressive used to meet him. Used to they used to come to our residence. I cannot recall each and every then because course. I was very small. But my father used to say that Hussein was friend. Ara used to come to his residence, to our residence, to our gallery where he was having shows. So one thing he uh, told me about his work that unless I get a satisfaction, then I have done what I visualize it. Till then I will not miss the work. So that's obviously like I think uh, it's very clear with this work that we have at the upcoming auction. Um, because you can see the sort of uh, detailing that's really gone into it, and I'm sure it must have taken him a lot of time it and effort taken, and taken, creativity. It, it, too. it has not taken a number of days; it's taken numbers months. Wow. Because when he started uh, using this uh, medium of glass, right. that was also uh, reverse glass. Correct. So it was very difficult for him because he has not done this work before on a glass, and this was the experiment. But in spite of that, he mastered it. Of course, because I, I mean, on this medium, you can see so many different shades of red itself. And then once you go into the shringar and the jewelry, it's like a whole different it's uh, sort of. It's a it's a stunning work, and um, I mean, what do you, what are your sort of thoughts when you uh, uh, see this work? It is a masterpiece. Yeah, what I can say. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. No, I, I I mean we can see all the sort of. And you, if you if you see the um, painting closely, right. All the uh, the strokes which he has done, yeah. the pallo, the bangles, the yeah. ornaments, are all in calligraphic strokes. And one thing I must to tell you that he was a good calligrapher. He used to write. Uh, he he used to yeah he used to calligraphy in uh, three languages: English, Urdu, and Arabic. So uh, when he had the last show at Jhangir Bhai, that was in uh, 2000, that uh, show was named. The calligraphic painting of India. Calligraphic right. painting. Right. Calligraphic painting is all the strokes were in calligraphic styles. Yeah. Though so there was no alphabet. Alphabets. Ah, yeah. But, it's but the strokes, strokes, you can see all this thing. It's all calligraphic. It's quite lyrical. The entire lyrical. Sort ah, of it's the all musical. Yeah. Exactly. And I think even the sort of um, jewelry that he's. Uh, and the composition right. of the uh, figures right. is very amazing. It's amazing because he sort of. Um, Created miniature, his own technique uh -huh. of uh, his own subject matter Actually, in a miniature. When we uh, earlier he used to do miniature paintings, right, right. And when we went to Kashmir, he left the miniature work. Correct. Because in Kashmir, when we went to Kashmir, the work was totally different from his earlier work, which was very much done. Correct. And when we went to Kashmir, he left the miniature mm -hmm. style of work. Later on, he uh, recalled the entire miniature works he had done. And it revived that work. Wow. The miniature style in a different way. In a different way. Ah, this is a different way. This, not, is, this is not actually miniature, but reflection of miniature it can be seen in this yeah. work. Yeah, you can see the reflections, but he sort of created his own style, drawing inspiration from Definitely. whatever he's been exposed to. Mm. And I think, like you even mentioned uh, in the next work that we have as part of the auction, the jute, uh, uh, his sort of uh, familiarity and uh, interaction with that material as well is visible. Mm -hmm. In this work, I think you mentioned something about uh, uh, the usage of jute in uh, uh, the following work. He started the jute work earlier uh, by having the show on Old Bombay. Right. And later on, he uh, used this jute medium in his entire work later on. Right. Because later on, he uh, drew all his work on jute only. And this is one of the beautiful paintings which he had done. This is a village. He uh, he was more uh, uh, related to the nature and the uh, uh, what we call the uh, traditional India. Is it traditional India? Yes. The village life. The village. Uh, the the costumes, the houses, uh, the the people, yeah. the fields. Uh, if you see, this is very typical uh, village life, so where village women are uh, carrying water on their uh, earthen uh, pot. And uh, it is a, a gate where uh, the people used to pass through this gate. This is a village scene, and this the composition is very good. Yeah, I think 
all the detailing right from you know you can see those figures in the background also sitting how mm-hmm. you'd have that mundane village <laughs> uh, folk just you know sitting in their uh, natural surroundings and relaxing with the slow <laughs> life so that's also seen so it's a really lovely work and um, yeah we're thrilled to have these uh, both these works as he, part of our he used to say i i see a lot of events i mean a lot of books and etc but when it comes to uh, my work yeah. then i i have created my own style of doing the work yeah. i have not copied anybody it's my own style of work and he uh, has created his own style uh, whether it is any medium whether it's wood work or yeah. whether it's a glass work or is a, a line drawing on paper and drawn paper everything he has created his own style and uh, the people who are familiar with my father work can make uh, can recognize his work from the one uh, glass of his uh, work so uh, that is the beauty of the style and he has uh, uh, taken that style up to his end uh, up to his end yeah i think you can sort of that is the sort and of and he told me that um, i know when they have a pass mm-hmm. but i want to do that kind of work that will be alive even a pass away wow that's uh-huh. beautiful beautifully put and i think he's sort of uh, i think that's a testimony of a great artist when you can see a work and yes he used to write uh, on the uh, subject on the painting on the style which he used to uh, which he was uh, which he will do yes. so that is thing means uh, what he uh, used to visualize thing uh, he used to write he used to draw the sketches then he used to uh, uh, take on the canvas uh, do canvas okay. so it's a lovely work and uh, thank you for sharing all these anecdotes about your uh, father the great artist as well as about yourself um, and we really look forward to having these works as part of our upcoming modern indian art auction okay thanks thank you thank you